Any takers? All right, all right, all right. Oh, gosh, hello, hey. People have been asking me, Tom, how do you pursue a dishwashing career well into your 37th year? That's an interesting question. And uh, what you need is, during your 20s, um, you need a stoner work ethic and uh, like a hungover go-getterism, all right? You're just gonna cruise right through your 20s that way. Mid, late 20s, early 30s, if you wanna just start changing directions real fast without much in the way of thought or uh, even really follow through. Uh, just, just abruptly change directions in life. Uh, people are like, will I be too busy doctoring or lawyering to pick up a couple shifts in the old dish hole? That too is a, that's a good question. And you do, uh, you know, you might run the risk of, you know, you're too busy stockbrokering and uh, heart surgery <laughs> to, you know, pick up a, a Sunday day shift to zen out in the dish hole. That's just the risk you take. You have to, it takes great intention. Uh, my mom has moves like Jagger, if Jagger moves like a waspy woman with frosted hair inside Pier 1 Imports. <laughs> takers, any takers? All right. All right. Um, got a, uh, recently got a, a memory foam mattress which I like because when I get up from my memory foam mattress, I like to look down on the impression and I feel like the invisible man having an out-of-body experience. <laughs> on the board? All right. All right, all right. Let's see, just a couple more. Oh yeah, recently I, when I was driving down uh, I-40 West, uh, Pat, there were all these billboards for the Adult Superstore, and yeah, so Adult Superstore, huge billboards, get there, it turns out it's just a run-of-the-mill Ma and Pa dildo shop, there was nothing super about it, it wasn't like a multiplex, there was just a, you know, your, your standard one-screen jacker, it was just... Really expecting something more. Oh God! Okay, hang on. I'm gonna do one more, and then I'm gonna get out of y'all's business. Mm. Um, here's something I recently discovered. Um, if you take a shotgun into a public park, everyone starts running, right? <laughs> But stick the barrel in your mouth and suddenly everyone wants to be your best friend. <laughs> Price of friendship, you have to give them your shotgun, man. It's always something. Hey, thanks a lot, guys. Take care.